Welcome back to Film Time. Today we'll bring you 90 Day Fiancé situations we won't let you forget. So drop a like, subscribe, and let's get into it. Fans consider this a fight like one between a mom and her teenage son. Lewis had been playing his music too loudly in his house. When Molly asked him kindly to turn it down, he refused to listen. This turned into a heated argument where Luis actually tried to call the police on Molly in her own home, using her voice because she wanted him to turn the volume down on her speaker. None of this made any sense, and at this moment, everyone felt bad for Molly. What would Luis have even said that his fiancé was asking him not to blast music in the house in the middle of the day? This was just a crazy situation that made- Turn off the speaker, Luis. You're being extremely disrespectful. Turn off my speaker. What? I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you, Luis. That's my speaker. And nobody wants to hear this loud music. Turn it off. This is my speaker and nobody wants to hear this It's ridiculous. You need to go. No, you need to go take your bag and call your friends. Because it's ridiculous. Nobody wants to hear this crap. Rose had made it clear from day one that she wanted to have a baby and a family. Initially, Ed seemed to be fine with this, never telling her no, but also never saying yes. It seemed like Ed was just trying to get Rose to marry him so he could start his life with his beautiful fiance. Throughout the entire series, we see Rose as being somewhat quiet but ready to break out of her shell when she needed to, and this time was no different. What really shocked viewers about this particular scene is how well she was able to identify Ed's manipulation. She just storms up to him and starts off calmly letting him know how she's feeling. It seemed like even Ed didn't know how to respond because boy was she asking the right questions. Like why didn't he tell her he didn't want to have more kids after she made it clear that she did? I want to be alone and have space for things. Uh, I not feel good. Okay, not feel good about having kids. Yeah. You want kids? Yeah, I want it because that's my dream. Why? What's wrong? Because I'm 54 years old. I don't want more kids. Why you not tell me the truth? Why you not telling me first on chatting? Why you tell me right now? Oh, yesterday. Why you not tell me you because before you come here? This scene has been circulating Instagram joke pages as well as Facebook for ages. This was hands down the strangest interaction that has ever existed on 90 Day Fiancé. Azana had made it clear to the people watching that he hadn't expected Nicole to look the way she did from the neck down. Throughout their time together, Azan stayed head fast in his opinion that she would lose weight, while Nicole seemed to be trying. She also loved herself the way she was, and it was upsetting that Azan couldn't see that. Then came their downfall. While Nicole seemed to be ready to do as her bae wanted, Azan was less than supportive. Then he claimed that he was only 55% attracted to her. Apparently to everything about her except her body, this is when she should have left him. Our lifestyle will be great, okay? I want to be healthy, but I don't think I need to change myself for a man for him to love me. Because if he loves me, he should love me for who I am. Do you know what you're asking from me right now to go to gym and, and be healthy and that's and that's why i'm asking if that doesn't happen i'm not sure that i'm going to america physically i'm attracted to nicole but it's not like just like for example 55 percent that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'll catch you next time goodbye